Alrighty folks, how's everybody doing today? So Rich is back with another video. Currently what I'm gonna be working on is this Audi key. And it doesn't belong to any particular car that's out on the road that I assume I just bought this key you know, just for research and research purposes. So what I wanna do is because these vehicles, you can't just add a key without having dealership access or access to their software like Otis so what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract the information from this key and we're gonna just try to read the information that pertains to the immobilizer it's gonna get decrypted and then with this information that's out of a working key we can actually add a spare key again we don't have any working car here but this is just gonna show you half of the way there so at least 50% of the way of how to extract the information from the key. So if you were to actually add it to a vehicle, what are the procedures and what are the steps that you need to follow? So I'm gonna put this under the microscope, as you can see here. And just bear with me, because there's a lot of things that we have to do, like open up the board. So here we go. Close the board. Alright. Let's go put this in under the microscope. Okay. <clears throat> so here, I don't know if you can see it really well. Try to bring it as close as I can. Put it a little bit closer here. A few little glares. Alright. So a few components. We're gonna have to remove two. So component number one, and let me see if I can bring a tweezer here so I can point out exactly. This component right here needs to be removed. And then another one down here needs to be removed. This one. So once these two components are removed, we're gonna solder three wires, or we can actually use <coughs> solderless adapters. I think we're gonna go that route. Even though you can just solder, since we're already desoldering these capacitors, I might as well just do it this way. So, bear with me. I got my handy dandy soldering station here. Let's just get everything going. Alrighty, I'm back at it. Sorry, the phone just keeps on ringing and I can't concentrate. But there are my components. That's one and that's two. I'm going to put this one in here in the two so that way I know where this one goes. Two. So first one, second one. Put that over there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the board and we're going to be using the adapter. Uh, based on this diagram right over here, I know it's flickering. It's telling us that it's going to be a type 3 adapter. So, 
We're going to line it, line it up as such. Be gentle so these pogo pins don't go breaking. Then once we have it right in the right spot, we're going to use these retainers, these clips. So That's pretty much it. So basically that's how it'll look. Sandwiched. So let's go put it here. So notice how the adapters are laid out. So the board is at the bottom so the machine can actually read it and then decode it. So now let's go here. Kind of annoying to get these little things up, but just work your way around and take your time. There we go. So I'm gonna put this back away. I'm gonna put this back into its original state. So that means we have to solder those two components back. So let's start with the easy one, which would be this one. As a matter of fact. Let me get some flux first. Okay. Go we'll clean this up in a minute. Things are so tiny. And 
I'm a righty. Get it from the side. This thing is to, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Now let's hit this one over here. <clears throat> fucking sneeze and this thing goes into the fifth dimension. So we gotta be careful how we do this here. Make sure everything is okay. Okay, so we'll clean it up. It's gonna dry up. Closer.
it in there and then push it in. check if everything works. Go change this battery out. Battery back, put it in. Let's check if there's a frequency coming out of it. There you go. Perfect. Nice. So now we seal this bad boy up. And if we were doing a key for a car, that would be the procedure. So we would now just go to the car with the information that we just collected and we're able to add a spare key. So other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. I know this was a little bit of a long and weird one, but this is just the procedure of adding an MLB key for an Audi. Peace.